I want to snuggle with the bosses. There we go. Let's snuggle. Snuggle time. Snuggle, snuggle. Snuggle, snuggle. Snuggle, snuggle. Snuggle. We snuggle to death. Welcome back to Soulstone Survivors and today I'm gonna show you my favorite build in this game just because it's the most fun for me and, you know, it's actually quite powerful. We are playing on Curse 7, here are the bonuses for the enemies if you want to take a look at it. And what I'm using is Generalist. I actually don't like taking that. I like taking an additional starting weapon and dash distance because the dash distance pretty much means you have three dashes instead of just two since, you know, it gives you more distance. Then we have Multicast Mastery, which will be very important later down the line. Oh my god, that is such a normal start. And then we have Singular Focus, which allows me to get the same weapons multiple times. That means, yes, it's luck reliant to get the right things. You know, don't get the wrong idea. This could also go downhill every time, but every time I blade it, I usually she got the things rather quickly but sometimes you're just unlucky and you don't get them so my recommendation with these builds is always if you go for singular focus on the first level up if you don't get what you want right away just reset now send of blood is actually one that i want to have but it's not one that i have a focus on but it will be fine regardless like i rather would have wanted to have a proper weapon that kills enemies but you know it's, it's still okay given that i don't start with an additional weapon this will actually be quite hurtful relentless is huge dude we have so much cast freak right now that is insane 136 percent and we just started the game oh there we go careful 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 i just have to apply enough bleed on them then they should just die in minutes brutal strike on a crit apply bleed we are all about bleed so this entire build will be a bleed build so having crits apply bleed is huge but that also means i need bonus crit you know uh, careful there okay now, hopefully, we get at least one... Well, there's one of them. Not the one that I wanted to have first. I want to have Flurry first, but this is also fine. Magnetic is huge. Could have taken the Fragility, but I don't care. I will take the Scent of Blood here. I only want one of them, but I don't have that many rewards left, you know, and then I'm forced into taking something I don't want. Multicast on Subdue or Merciless. I think I will actually go for the Multicast here. Yeah, that is big. And let's just continue. What do we get here? Piercing Shout is fine. I could take that, but I'll gamble. Ah, okay, Bloodlust. Not the one that I wanted, but eh, it's okay. Could be worse. As long as we get a Flurry here, this will be fine. If we don't get a Flurry, then it will take ages to progress. Like, the best level up you can have on the first skill level up is... Let's banish a Leviathan. The best one you can have is Flurry, just to get going with killing the enemies. And there we go. Fragility or Multicast. I'll take the Multicast, and we'll take the Shrapnel Bomb. At least it applies bleed, you know. Area of effect for frontal, that sounds, yeah, yeah, solid, but it's fine. I tend to like having two subdues, since this unlocks the swing bonuses, which means you just power it up like crazy, and, you know, that's good. Power up the skill that kills everything. Crit, nice, and we'll take magnetic here. The storm will hurt a little bit, but it's okay. Where's the dude there? It should actually be fairly simple to kill him. Oh, but we don't apply a lot of bleed, right? We only have one that applies bleed right now. Area is good, then I don't have to get too close to bosses. Now, one thing you need to be aware of with this build, early on, you will not kill the bosses. Okay, if you get a couple of flurries, you will just burn them with subdue, but uh, we will not do that. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like, so we can reach a very nice number. That means we just have to dodge and run away, which is a problem if you don't have the ability, the, the one that I talked about with the dash distance, but I think I can still make it work. Like, do you see how much damage that deals? And there we have a flurry, beautiful. I, uh, do I want to replace a double slash? No, let's replace... Oh, actually, yes, let's replace that. That's fine. Fragility is huge. There's also one, I think, where if you apply fragility, it applies uh, bleed on the enemies. You have to be a little bit careful. These boss fights, they can be quite difficult. It's totally fine to die once. Like, this can just happen early on. But I don't want to die another time, since I always like to come a castle the last boss fight, where I just rush in and stand literally next uh, to the enemies, to the bosses. And then just try to burst them as soon as possible, because it's a lot of fun. You know, it has nothing to do with efficiency. It's just a lot of fun. But sometimes I ended up having, I don't know, eight or nine bosses around. Now, since a recent change, you can't have that many bosses anymore. Five is the maximum. Oh, that, no, not having a dash distance, they really hurt. But yeah, five is the maximum, but that just means the bosses will just constantly respawn the moment you kill them. Which is also a lot of fun. I will take the Merciless here, actually. Though I don't have the crit rune. Where the more crit chance you have, the more damage you deal. Ouch. Stop that. Okay, I have to keep dashing here. I don't have a choice. Oh, there we go. 
I mean, we almost killed two of the bosses. That's fine. Power Strike is good. We want to bump this up to maybe 20 damage per stack. 25 is even better. 30 is, like, optimal. But you can't really guarantee this. Increased potency on Bloodlust. No, we want to get rid of that very soon. That also means I should maybe get some uh, movement speed. That will be good. I just need a Swift or movement speed. Either of those are fine, but I need one of them at least. And there we go. Would be nice to kill one boss. And there is one offering. Uh, how much HP? No. Oh, it was a tanky one, actually. It was the Guardian here. Oh, uh, he may actually bleed out. Yeah, he did bleed out. Nice. Okay, good. Expansive for more AoE. That is nice. Do you see the size of our subdue already? It's a slashes that happened there. And that means it's, you know, it's just ginormous, which is good. Increased duration on one of... The oh, they just split up. I don't want to have two of them. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Like, it's really not great. You really don't want to have that, but it's okay. Increased potency. It's the right one again. Yeah, okay. I'll keep the right one if I ever get more flurries. Expansive or... Yeah, let's go for expansive. More area means we kill the enemies faster. That's good. I mean, in the beginning, the enemies are super duper weak. So it's fine what we are doing right now. But if this doesn't change very soon, <laughs> I'll be a little bit sad. You can get a ridiculously fast clear with this. And I will not spoil it right now, I will talk about it later, how fast you can actually do this. But there are some really ridiculous times that you can get here. Uh, Lethality again, nice. We don't want to bump up the flurry at all. The only thing we want to get on it is attack speed. Area is also okay, because the knives actually become super big, like they hit everything. Uh, let's go for crit again. I think I'll just banish this. Okay, fragility is better. I like that way more. So right now we are at a point where we can easily kill the enemies, but having a second flurry will be very important. Multicast is also good, attack frequency is also good, uh, but we have enough attack frequency right now, so, you know, that's fine. Uh, there's actually a boss that wants to annoy me. I'll take Touch of Ice because, well, he died. Okay, sure. Touch of Ice is nice if you get Hypothermia. Um, that is huge, very good, I love it. Now, just to understand, the flurry shoots out 20 knives at once, or like in a succession, and then you apply bleed every single time. We also do have the, where is it, brutal strike here. So, 50% of those daggers, when we have max crit, apply another stack of bleed. So, we apply 30 bleed per shot of the daggers, which obviously can also multicast, you know, and you go bonkers there. And if you then have a powerful subdue, like, how much is this one? Oh, it's only 15, that's not a lot. But if you have a powerful subdue, then this will just start nuking the bosses, and trust me, it nukes. Let's take the multicast here. Uh oh, 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 careful. I did say dying is fine, but I don't really want to die. But did you see how we just nuked the bosses here? Did you see that? There's only one left. There's only one left. What happened to the other ones? Uh, they just said goodbye. Like, the moment you get multiple bleeds on them and subdue start striking, this is ridiculous. Now, as I said, we are still missing the flurries. These are actually the main damage dealer ones to stack this up, so I'm a little bit sad we don't have that. Multicast on physical is beautiful. Oh my god. We may actually not need multiple uh, flurries right now, because this is so crazy. Like, yes, we want it, okay? The moment it shows up, I'll take it. But I think we have good enough upgrades that we can even do it. No, oh, they stay alive for way too long. Like, you can one-shot the enemies that come in. And right now, we have to wait until they have enough bleed to kill them with subdue, which is not great. And uh, Relentless is beautiful. Maybe I should have taken a damage increase on subdue. Nah, it's okay. Okay, the next bosses will spawn somewhat soon. How long does it take me to level up? It's actually not that long, okay. I think the next one is a uh, weapon level up, hopefully. Please, that would be nice. I wonder if there's a system behind that, what you get. Well, it wasn't. Let's go for Merciless. More crit is good. How much crit chance do we have? 55%. Also need to bump that one up. Or we just get dazed. Like, dazed would also be okay. I just walked right into the horsey there. Uh, careful, where is it? I think it died. That's good, that is a lot of experience. Blade Storm? Nah, nah, let's go for multicast. Yeah, that's better. And there are the next bosses. I don't want to get too, too close. They will kill me if I mess up here. Which is actually a very high chance because I don't have agility. I don't have swift. So I have to be very careful what I do here. Okay, but do you see that how fast they are dying? And that is with one flurry. Like, honestly, imagine we had three flurries right now. How insane this would be. I should probably take uh, the potency on the bloodlust if it continues like this. Oh, wow. And uh, multicast, beautiful. Do you see how much we are striking with the subdue? Oh my god. So right now we are 8 minutes in. Oh, it's sadly a slow run. I wish I could have shown this off in a very good run. 
I mean, it will be a fast run, but it's not a top run. The fastest time I've had with this was at 9 minutes 55, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Like, if you start out the game and you get already 2 or 3 flurries, you just clear everything. And you have seen how fast we kill the enemies, but now imagine it would have been a better start with the flurry. Like, this thing can just nuke enemies. Ooh, okay, I have to be a little bit more careful. I would really like to avoid dying here that I can be really stupid for the final boss fight and kill them ASAP. Maybe I should have went for the damage increase on the last thing. Ye well, mm, no, well, no, I think that would have been better. Just have to make sure that you have enough area, that you don't need to be all too close. I mean, there's no need to kill the bosses right now. I could also just leave them there. But the more they put on the floor, the more annoying they become. Oh, careful, careful, okay, they, oh, nice, everyone is dead. Could also go for that, no. Let's go for multicast on swing. That is per- you're a swing? Why are you a swing? Wait, what? Okay, well, that's weird. <laughs> I, I don't think that makes a lot of sense, but it's, it's okay. I think I will replace the bloodlust with any kind of bleed that will show up, like, even if it's a bleed bomb. Mm, yeah, I think I will do that because I don't plan to move around either way in the final fight. So who cares? Oh, what you can obviously do is you can stand in a corner to kill the enemies faster But I'm not a big fan of that since it makes it really difficult to survive and not get randomly hit But it, it's obviously better. Okay there we go. Like do you see that how difficult it becomes to maneuver around and all it takes is one bad sequence of attacks And suddenly you lost a revival Ooh. Ooh, okay, Ghosty Boy is a little bit annoying. Magnetic, this is too late. I'll go for Lethality here. More crit means more bleed. And I think once I'm at 2.550 kills, maybe, I will walk over to the left side that the ghost is not there. This will sadly not be a sub-10 minute run, but you can see, uh, imagine we had more flurries here. I can't believe that I'm finishing the game with a single flurry. That is a meme. Oh, just wait how the game will give me one after we kill the bosses and collect all the experience. That is usually how it goes. Okay, let's quickly destroy this. You won't annoy me anymore. Very nice. Uh, there's a boss somewhere, a mini boss. Where is he? Is that him? No. Okay, subdue. I will just take the subdue. It's not perfect, but <laughs> I will take it. At least we will nuke the bosses with subdue now. Not the one that you would want to have, but eh, 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 it's still fine. So right now this is dealing 16 damage, 16 damage. All of them are only dealing 16 damage. I need more damage on physical. Okay, whoa. The bosses are about to spawn and watch this. Now, I don't know how fast this will be. Where are they? Ooh, okay, over there. I don't know how fast this will be. Usually, the kills happen super quickly. Yeah, it needs some time to stack up everything. There's the first death. I have to be careful that I don't die another time here. Oh my god, but look at this. This is just beautiful. And where is the final boss? We got poked into him. Nice, yeah, that was it. So this was a sub-11 curse 7 finish, but there is a lot more potential in here. If you get flurries early on, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.